Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. Today we're going to show you the GD503 and how to configure the balance. Out of the box, this GD503 weighs in carats and grams. So we're going to go over how to change the weigh mode. So you don't want to have any of these components inside the balance when you do this. We have to turn the balance over. So if you notice on the GD503 at the bottom, Typically when you receive these balances, I remove this. It's, it's a little sticker here. And what I do is I just pull it off real fast. And sometimes this material comes off, sometimes it doesn't. But this is a tamper resistant sticker. And so what you have to do is come in here and open up the cover. And it's going to be hard to see, but you have piece of uh, metal housing and your PC board and there's a small little tiny 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 hole in here where the where the PC board is and there's a switch and what you need is you need a tool I have a small screwdriver that I actually file down but you need something rigid to move the switch over so the switch is going to be pushed over all the way on the left hand side and we need to move it over to the right hand side to get it into legal for trade mode. So the balance should never be plugged in when you do this because you could blow up the balance altogether or short it out. So I take a small screwdriver and I go right into where this little hole is and when I put it in there I just move it over. I just slide it and you'll feel it. Now if you don't have a screwdriver this is like a sewing needle. You just need something rigid all together and it goes right in there and you can slide it either way and so it slides right over now I'll show you right away how we can tell whether the switch is in the right position or not so let's turn this balance over and we're gonna basically set it up let me just plug in the AC adapter and we'll take off the lid here and so the first thing you want to do is you want to put in your weigh pan. Uh, this is the uh, splash shield on the bottom. Make sure that's in. Spill ring. And then this is your pan support. Pan support just goes right in there. I always like to churn it to make sure that it's all the way down. And then you want to put your weighing platform on. And so when you power up this balance, power here, you power up the balance, you'll see all the digits illuminate, and the balance goes to zero, zero. So, if you notice, the digit all the way over to the right is boxed. There's a little trace around the outside edge. That means this balance is in legal for trade mode. So I did not put the switch in the right position. Um, you'll also see if I press the F key, now it's in grams. So primary mode is carats, secondary mode is grams. So what I need to do is shut off the balance, take out everything on this balance because I need to flip it over and put this balance in the non-legal for trade mode. So everything has to come out of the balance. Then I need to close the doors. I need to, again, unplug the AC adapter. You should never do this with the AC adapter in. And then what I want to do, got to be careful here, we're going to turn this balance over and basically, I'm going to get my tool in here and move the switch over so it's all the way to the right hand side. And it is. I'll plug my AC adapter back in. Oops. Okay. I need to put everything back into the balance. So again, never flip the balance over with any components inside this weight chamber. Your spill ring, your pan support, your 
in. Okay, we close the door, we turn on the balance. The balance does the power up sequence and now you'll notice when the balance goes to zero zero, notice this last digit here. There's no box around it. That means we have it in the non-legal for trade mode. We also know this because in the upper right hand corner you have this triangle. This triangle is telling me that it's in the non-legal for trade mode. So now I'm going to change the way mode. So you'll notice primary mode is carats, secondary mode is grams. To change it, you want to turn off your balance. Turn on your balance. When it powers up, press the tear key once. So all the numbers have to be illuminated, press it once. And so we need to go through the code. So you have a one. To move it over, you press the print key. We have one, one. We need to change this to a seven. You press the tear key to increment up, one, seven. We need to move it over now to the right. We press the print key, one, seven, four. If you notice this circle here in the lower right-hand corner, this is telling us that the balance code that is set is one, seven, one. And if you go to our website, the manual doesn't have this in it. One, seven, one would mean carrots as your primary mode. We'll say we want to set it up for grams. To set it up for grams, the code would be 171. So we have to change it. To change it, we're going to press the tear button. And as I press the tear button, you'll notice the number increments up. We get it, get it all the way to 171. To store the value, we need to press the print key. If we just press it once, uh, did it wrong? Let me do it again. Okay. One seven one. We need to store it. You need to hold the print key down until you see the little zero in the lower right hand corner. So I press and hold, and notice you have the round circle there. That means now the balance is set up. One seven one. The primary mode would be grams. Now we'll say we want to change the secondary mode. To change the secondary mode, again, we're going to have to get the first digit needs to be a 3. So, it's a 1, we need to increment it. When we increment it up, press the tear button. As I press the tear button, we have a 3. Press the print button, we have a 1. Press the print button again. And we'll say we want to be in grains for the secondary mode. So if we want grains, we need to change this to an 11. So we'll press the tear. We have 3, 1, 11. To confirm it, you press and hold the print button. We now have the zero in the lower right hand corner. Now we want to reset the balance. You press and hold the tear button down. Once you see all the display illuminated, release your finger. The balance will go to zero, zero. So now you notice your primary mode is grams. If you press the F key, your secondary mode is now grains. Now, to do a calibration, the balance comes with the 100 gram weight. To perform the cal, one simply, we're going to leave this in grains for a minute, and we're going to press and hold the tear button. It shows 100. You open up draft chamber. We have a 100 gram weight here. Put in the center. Close the door. You'll hear a beep. There's your beep. Now you're going to say, what's wrong with this balance? It's showing 1543. But that's because we're in grains. If you press the F key, we'll go back to grams. Okay? So that's how you calibrate the balance. This video is more about how to change the way modes. So I want to just change the way modes one more time to show you how to do this. So to change the way modes, once again, you're going to power down your balance. When the balance powers up, press and release the tear key once. We'll have a one there. This time, let's say we'll set up the balance so that it's in penny weight as the primary mode. That code is going to be 1712. So I'm going to press the print key. 
to move it over one spot. Press the tear key to get to seven. Press the print key to move it over. So again, you have one seven, one in a circle. That is telling us that the primary mode is set to grams. We want to change that. We're going to make it penny weights. So we have to change this to a 12. So to do so, we're going to press the tear key until we see 12. Now we have to store it. To store it, you want to press and hold the print button. You have a zero there. Now for the secondary mode, we got to go to three, one, and let's see, we'll change it to a different. So let's go three, we're going to increase this, hit the print key, three, one, move it over. So right now we have three, one, eleven. Let's change this to milligrams. The code for milligrams would be 3113. So I'm going to press the tear key two times. To store it, I'm going to hold the print key. I have 3113. I'm going to reset the balance. To reset the balance, I'll print and hold the tear key down. Once I see all, of, all the numbers illuminated, the balance is going to reset, and again, I can put something on it, 100 grams. And so my primary mode right now is pennyweight. So you'll notice up there at the top is pennyweight. If I press the F key, my secondary mode now, I'm in milligrams. So if you look at this, this is a 100 gram weight. It's going to show 100,000 milligrams, 100,000 point zero milligrams. So that's how you change the weigh modes. And one more time, even though I'm going to repeat myself, this is kind of hard to do. I just want to show you, I'm going to flip this balance over and just show you once again, there's a little switch there. The video is probably not able to see it because I can't even see it with my eyes actually. Um, there is an amendment, little piece of paper that comes with the balance that will show you this switch a little bit better. So again, you want to take everything out of the weight chamber, and on the bottom of this balance, you will see there's a PC board right here. Up at the top, there's a little tiny cavity there, and there's a switch. And actually, you can see this is the switch itself that's soldered to this PC board. So there's basically three prongs right here. That's the switch. In the balance, legal for trade mode, the switch is going to be towards me. Non-legal for trade mode, the switch will be away from me. And I'm going to just switch this back over and uh, just to give you an example so that you can actually see right away. So I've now put this back into legal for trade mode. And I just want to trim this on for one minute. And I want to show you how that triangle and the top right hand corner has now went away. Now when I put it back in legal for trading mode, it's going to reset the balance. The way modes will be a little bit different. So again, the pan goes down, the splash guard, spill ring, pan support, the pan itself, I like to turn it just to make sure everything's positioned correctly. If I turn on the balance, you notice right away when the balance powers up that now it's in the legal for trade mode. So you see this little box right here? That's telling us it's in legal for trade. And also notice in the top right hand corner, there's no triangle there. So this is the Satorius GD503, and we're trying to show you how to change the weigh modes on this balance. If you have any questions, you can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com.